So this is how we can our deer meat on the homestead. First we start with about two gallons of water. I have onion powder, garlic powder, a good helper. We got sugar and salt in that two cups of each. You put that in there, Courtney. All right, this is our brine. You're gonna stir it up. I'm gonna let this sit for an hour or two and dissolve in real well. I don't want, some people do it with hot to get it started going good, but I don't like using hot water because they're not fixing to be cutting the meat up fresh out of ice and putting it in here. So we'll come back when we get to that part. Give it a good stirring. And then your next step is to debone all this meat and chop it up, put in the brine. Okay, so that's two hands and two back straps. That'll get in the refrigerator for a couple days. Thanks a lot, Rooster. That'll be in the refrigerator for a couple days. You give the two front shoulders to the neighbors. <laughs> and now we're gonna pressure cook all the bones and everything get all the meat off of there and make a barbecue or something out of it i ain't waste i don't waste nothing even the fur is being tanned back on it to stop any splatter from getting up in the pressure valve. Now the lid's back on and locked down. I have settings here instead of the old weights. And it'll be five pounds, 10 pounds, and 15 pounds. And we're gonna start on five pounds. And now we'll move it up to 10 pounds for 45 minutes. All right, so pressure cooked on 10 pounds for 45 minutes, and then we let her sit and cool off for about an hour. Always be safe with these things. See that? Even after an hour, look how hot that still is. meat off them bones all right well look at all that meat that would have been wasted any other time just throwing the bones away so now we add parsley you know 
salt. Onion powder. And then, well, if you know, you know. Give it a good stir. Nice, lots of bread, a little bit on that, a little cheese. Oh yeah. All right, now we got our broth made. Let's get the cannon some deer meat. So hey guys, if y'all are liking the video so far, give us a like, subscribe, channel, hit that notification bell. All right, back to it. Now we put the deer meat on a smoker and let it smoke till it's about two thirds of the way done. finally got all this meat smoked we're going to pack it into the jars I've already put the hydrated onions in the jars Courtney hard at work all right so I you pack your meat in the jars and you can get all the air bubbles out Fill your jars up with your bone broth up to about, leave about a one inch head on each of them. And then you're ready for the next step. Oh, make sure you boil and sterilize your lids and jars. I like to put the grate in the bottom, make sure my jars don't touch. The bottom stays off of it. And since we're only doing quart jars, we fill up the, that line. All right, now that you got your jars in, everything goes in at cold room temperature. And then you light your fire and bring it all up the temperature together. Once you start steaming a little bit, we'll put the lid on. All right, guys, well, we took about 15, 20 minutes bringing it up the temperature slowly. Now she's up to 10 pounds. Cooking good, so we'll set the timer. 45 minutes. I don't know, some of my earliest memories, guys, this is my great-grandmother's cannon kitchen. Off the back of her house, it's twice the size of a regular kitchen. There's two stoves, multiple refrigerators, shelves all filled up with cannon goods. And, you know, you just don't see that anymore anywhere. All right, well, it's been 45 minutes. Now I'll shut the gas off. And we'll release pressure. All right, now we've let this sit for about 20 minutes or so. Let it cool off really good, no pressure. It's not safe to take the lid off. Ooh, that stuff's still cooking in there. Should have the right jar clamps for this, but I can't seem to find mine. And now guys, these jars are extremely hot. Please, please be careful if you try to attempt this yourself. All right, that's shutting off the second batch. Let's check on these first ones, see if they sealed. Look at that, look how hot that still is. These things are still cooking. And it just proves the point of 
You gotta be very careful, guys, when you mess with this stuff. It's an hour later. Yep, yeah, got a good seal on all six. Snowy day comfort food right there. All right, looks like they've all sealed so far except for one. So this is what we'll do with it. Yep, is it worth it? You're damn right it is. Look at this just fall apart. What more do you want? All right, guys, till next time. Please leave a comment, like, subscribe, and God bless each and every one of you. Anybody want to see a made from scratch homemade chocolate chip cookies? Leave us a comment.